Pipe. Wow. Check these things out. Ginger's looking a little chunky these days. Just kidding. Yeah, the heart racer, she... <laughs> Packing it on for winter she time. She is huh? packing it on. Mm -hmm. She's—I think I coddle her a little bit, you know, <laughs> pick her up, uh -huh. carry her around. Yeah. So I have—I've got a, a great treat for you guys today. So I wanted a second opinion on the Prandi Axis. Step now you—I I was surprised. I thought you were the Uber subscriber. You haven't seen that. You haven't even seen these. So that's good because you won't be biased. <laughs> I'm not going to be biased. That's You're right. saving them up for good. Right? I do. I was, I hold back. I hold back. So uh, if you don't know already, Alan, my good friend, he, you're a big axe guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. He does, uh, you do a lot of axe restorations, mm -hmm. know your way around it. Yeah. So I was really curious uh, to, to, to get your take on these, um, and you haven't seen them. Mm -mm. Um, so let's take a look at them. We'll go through them. And this will be kind of nice because one of these we're going to give away Ooh. tomorrow. Oh, not to me because I'm doing this for you. Well, I can't give you one because the subscriber may pick the one that I give you. Oh, good point. Once that's done, then, we, then we'll have some more options. Good point, good point. So I want your, I'll start with, the, let's start with the biggest one. This is the one I've nicknamed Bruticus. What do you think? Now, you gotta look past the varnish handles, of course. You know, well, that's, that's not ideal, but what do you, what's your take on that? Well, it's, uh, that's huge. Don't help me! Come on here! Bazooka! It's huge. I mean, the, the general girth and the, the cheeks on the side of that thing, that thing is pretty enormous. Its weight isn't too bad. Um, it's pretty. It's pretty. Can I, can it's I say pre it's pretty? How about that? That's, That's interesting. Interesting. Like the world's smallest beard. Some guy said that you huh. could use that for hooking. Like, well, you're a man. Oh, if you can, your... if you if you be a man, if you can fully extend that well, thing and hook onto something. Yeah, because it. most of us are using a maul like this one-handed to to pick the wood up with which we are about to. I know split. I do. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. like to. Um, like, I like to at night. I like to just grab this with one hand and fully extend it, <laughs> hold it for an hour or two. That's that's it's, our uh, workout regime. Oh, that's my warm up. That's yeah, the warm up that's session. The warm up. Um, it's. I think it's nice. It's got good weight to it. That handle is wicked fat and I understand and it's a tapered handle for see I'm over getting you're, you're picking up I I've, one of the nicest things about these that I've seen all of them are the handles are fabulous yeah 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 yeah. no I'm liking it so you've got you have over strike protection where a you're couple, normally a couple more times it. anyway yeah at least a couple more times I would think I'm not, not digging that the logo treatment yeah well yeah, what do you think of that not the most refined, but yeah. you know, are you buying it for the logo treatment? Well, it's going to come off with the varnish. So. It's going to come off pretty quick in general. So overall, what do you think? Overall, without actually using it, we're gonna, I, we're, you're going to swing them here. As soon as we, we go through our, this is going to be a long video, I can tell already. Yeah, I'd, I'd say at least initial impression, it's definitely worthwhile looking at. It's, it's different and certain key components, which has me intrigued as opposed to it's the exact same thing as everybody else it just has it has a different color scheme and it's got an emblem on it so at least we'll we'll start off that way how about that nicely I, put together though i yeah i will make i will say one thing that i already don't like about it because that handle is so stupendously awesome if i do break that handle where do i get it talking custom-made handles there you go yeah and not and that's not that's a problem not not that's with all of these too because what they're doing, all of these I've noticed, is that they're putting huge amounts of wood in all of the malls, the malls and the axes, yeah. uh, which is a good thing because you look, I mean, look at the little ovals that you have on the American axes, they're really small. Yeah. But it's, it's what you, when you go to the store and buy one, that's what you're going to get. That's what you're replacing. So you may yeah. be looking at a custom handle on these. So you're going to swing these. Yeah, the I'm going to test them out. And which one do you want to start with? Brut uh, Brut let's go with the big guy. Let's, let's go with the big dude. All right, give it a good swing and let's see impressions here. That's a pretty, uh, pretty gnarly round there. It's got a big knot in it. This thing is pretty, uh, that is pretty massive. Bazooka! <laughs> wow. So it's got some decent head speed to it. And it seems to stay pretty stable, just air-wise. 
All right, number two, this is the second biggest one, kind of a Swedish style of splitter. So this is much more lighter weight, narrow head. Much lighter. Really thin beard, front face is really narrow. Same basic wedge design, so you've got two break points. Narrow pole, but an extended pole on the end of it. It's beautiful. Though, that is it? nice. It kind of reminds you of a, of a railroad a spike hammer. Oh, for driving in the spikes on the yeah, ties. Yeah, I think that's a handsome axe. Yeah, same thing, you've got... Very custom handles. Yeah, tapered, very fat meat, and then it tapers down to, to normal man size hand grip. That's, I have to say, that's really interesting. I'm more interested in that than that guy. Mm -hmm. But if you're, gonna, if you're gonna go grab one, you're, you know, maybe if you have something that, that you've beat on with that 50 times and you can't get it, you might you're go, gonna go for the big you might boy. go the Bruticus route. Yeah. But this is not gonna be my number one go-to. It's just, it's too big. That's, that's beefy. That's too big. big. That's like, that's carnival size we're talking about. Sorry. <laughs> no, no offense to carny folk out there, but um, this, this is this is nice though. I like the finish on it. Isn't it nice? Tremendously. I think that's really nice. And again, you've got the same really, really big eye wood purchase in there. Yeah, that's it. That's really interesting. Well, I think like also that. is that all of the handles, it's not like they have a kind of like a stock handle that they're punching in all their axes. Each oh, one is really, is really unique. Yeah. And it, and it's, and you, it just feels like it really fits the tool well. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is a very handsome splitter. This is one of my favorites. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. So now this is the longer, thinner, more narrow. Same basic handle. I think it's a little bit shorter than the, the previous one was. Yeah, it's the one that's got that pretty pole on it. Yeah. This, is, this is the skinniest of the heads. Yeah. Not bad. Comes out nice too. It does come out it really well. It swings fast. Yeah, maybe not as much uh, depth penetration with, as compared to the other guy is, but really good confidence on it. Really good head speed. Not scary like the no, Bass Cats. No, no. Yeah. That one takes a little nerve to work up to. Yeah, me too. I could see that. That's, that's pretty nice though. I do like that one. In that knot. Found it. Those knots, I don't know if all knots are as hard as fur knots, but I've had these knots chip axes. I They're so it. hard. That's why the, on the double bitters, the old guys would have that utility edge. So they've never cut yeah. never cut those knots with that, yeah. that with a good edge because they're so hard. Yeah. Okay, so this one here is very interesting. What is that? What is that? I, I'm calling that, that the hybrid. <laughs> oh. So it's so we're talking halfway in between. Wow. I'm really liking the handle on it. A lot. Much lighter weight than that other guy is. Really interesting head design. Look how uh, how much wood is in there and how, how strong that is. You think you're gonna snap that off of there ever? Probably you not. You know, providing you don't damage it. Probably not. That is really interesting. Pull in. That is a very interesting splitter. That, I'd, and just looks wise, and I'm not all about looks when it comes to axes or, or mauls. That's a really good looking axe. It just is, in general. Isn't it? Mechanically speaking, it's a really nice one. I like it, that. It does. And I, and I don't typically like the, I mean, there's been, everyone has done some sort of a gimmick, you know, trying uh -huh. to find a way to. To get to, to get to get a better or more efficient splitter. Yeah. And when I originally saw that, that's kind of what I thought. Like, oh, here we go again. One of those, one gimmick. Of those gimmick heads. Yeah. But but after swinging it and using it, um, you know, I, I was thinking, I hope no one picks this one. <laughs> 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 I, I even stated as much in the video. That, <laughs> but I, they can have. You don't it, want that one. They can have any one that they want. You don't want that one. It smells funny too. You really don't want that. Yes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the video now. We're gonna spray this down with WD-40 and we're gonna do a couple of <laughs> preemptive wax. We call it and just break this thing open. Hollywood movie magic. Yes, Hollywood movie magic. Yeah. Now you've you have used this? Oh I have. Okay. Don't, I don't, I don't, don't want me. to bias don't you tell me. Don't which, tell which me. one of my favorite is. Don't tell me. You can see which one's been used the most. Loose <laughs> <Split> ginger. <laughs> Let's not split ginger. Oh. <laughs> you, you see? Oh. That, that is, that's a well-made splitter right there. I mean, that had, that had depth. Yeah. Oh, I like it already. 
Yeah, we I did. really like it. It's the business. Oh, I really like that. I like the handle, the length, the weight, the balance. It's, it's the, the sweet, it's got a sweet spot. Yes, it does. I'm really liking that. Really good confidence. You don't get that little bit of wobble, at least I do. I tend to twist a little bit. Mm -hmm. This was, a, for some reason, a lot straighter, a lot truer, and I don't know if it's because of the handle design or what, but. Let's cut this segment out and then we reshoot it and you could talk about how much you don't like this one. How much I don't like this one. Yeah. That's a good idea. So no one picks it. I don't, yeah. Because this is the one that smells funny. Yeah, that's right. That's the one yeah. that smells funny. Okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. It's Didn't starting like it. to rust. It's um, it's got varnish on it. You don't want that. No, I don't want it. A, a small splitter. splitter. Yeah, you know, just very, it's kind of that Scandinavian, really similar to that Husqvarna. I was just thinking that. That's funny you mentioned that one. Here's that. Here's the Husqvarna design. There, I mean, it's 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 basically the same tool. Yeah, effectively it is. But a better handle. Yeah, much better handle. Of course, with Cody's patented. Yeah, we should have a little thicker on that. Yeah, this is nice. I like the, I like the little bit wider purchase on the, on the blade head. It is wider. I didn't realize that, but it is wider than yeah. the, than the big, the heavier one. Yeah. Now the thing that I don't know is we're West Coast, uh, Pacific Northwest. Some of you guys are. Well, a lot of you are international, some of you guys are East Coast, a lot of hardwoods. You know, different malls and different splitters work for different type of woods. You may right. find that the narrower, sharper uh, splitting mall is going to work better for you guys on the East Coast with your hardwoods because you need to like shock and basically break that initial fiber to get it to pop open. Where we have very wet, kind of loose wood that you really need to get uh, penetration on because it's such a, a wetter. It's very fibrous. Very fibrous wood, exactly. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this may work better for us out here, but it may not work uh, real great for you guys on the East Coast. They, I, these narrow splitters do work good on the fir yeah. and the pine. Yeah, I like it. Nice, nice handle. A little bit, a little too big for me, but that's just me. And I like, you know, it's we're seeing a lot of axe manufacturers, you know, doing the cheek thing, the rounded cheeks, which I think is nice. I personally. If you pick up on the fact that people like stuff like that, do something, I don't know, just do something a little bit original. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not possible, but... Definitely makes them harder to hang. Way, What I find with these, with these uh, cheeks, cheeks hanging down here like this, usually they're really inconsistent. Yeah. And so when you're trying to put a, a handle in there, you're finding one side is squished in more than the other. Yep. And it, it takes a lot more time uh, to, to hang ahead with one of these. Yep. But I you've agree. got more, I mean, you've got more material on the wood. I don't know. That's coming from, kind of from two guys that build handles, yeah, so yeah. may not may not apply. Okay, so that's it for the for the splitter. So this is the first of the the large feller of the felling. Oh, act. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> isn't, I'm it sorry. isn't it magnificent? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tell me that you couldn't just take that right now to into a green. Uh, uh, piece of uh, Ponderosa or Doug first, you know, standing oh, with the sap rip, running and just that thing's going to go in there about three inches yeah, in the first cut. At least. That is, that is a blade and a yeah. half. And it's really, really, I don't know if you can see the, the cross section of it, but that's a very narrow. Very narrow. Wow. That is, a, that is beautiful. It's, it's like I kind of want to butcher meat and take down a tree <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> Well, it's, it's, it's a little that, medieval. I'm it's, not gonna lie. Gonna it's a little medieval. Same thing. It's, it's it's one you would you would could take to war. I'm thinking, yeah. Um, <laughs> Please don't tell me that's the market they're going after. It, it is beautiful, <laughs> though. I, I'm I, I'm gonna go down here pretty soon, and you know, next week or two, and and we'll take this and, and follow and really a good sized it. tree and see. Yeah. I. I wonder if it's not a little bit too, too thin. much. Yeah. Um, but it could be. Yeah. It, it could be. It is beautiful, though. It is very pretty. Especially the finish. Yeah. I really like that. The finish is great. Again, really big uh, pole on that. It's The only thing I don't like is this This looked, sorry, but looks-wise, this looked a whole lot better on the, the splitter, splitter mm -hmm. than for as sleek as this is. I'm just curious if they couldn't figure out a way to get more head weight with a different formed handle somehow like maybe a slightly more conventional handle uh, yeah aesthetically i mean again i mean i don't know that these things necessarily affect function of it right but when you, you're talking about 
a sleek racing car here. You know, you're talking about oh. something, you know, precision instrument, and yeah. everything about it, you know, kind of speaks to that. To have, um, to have a heavy, clumsy handle on it, I mean, you almost want this beauty to be carried and wrapped around that sleekness of the yeah. handle, you know, that, that petiteness. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, we're splitting hairs here, but I th if you're going to spend this type of money on an axe, it's got to speak to you yeah. in all ways. And, and aesthetics and, and the beauty and the elegance of it are, are important as well. Yeah, without, without knowing what the price point is on that. And, it's, and again, you know, it's kind of tough to look at this from the manufacturer's standpoint too, but clearly they're making a lot of handles in that same form factor that they're trying to apply to as, as many different avenues as they can just to be cost effective. Otherwise, they would be custom making handles for every single ax head that they've got or mall head that they have. So they're, they're gonna try to reuse products where they can. It just, it just makes sense. But I mean, if, if I got that, I would rework that head part and just taper it back and just make it a little bit sexier. I mean, cause you know. Cause you can. Be, yeah, yeah, cause you yeah. can. Mm -hmm.